Okay, there, there are two main kinds of vessel holes, planing holes and displacement holes. Probably the easiest way to look at this is if we start with a displacement vessel, a displacement vessel is something like a trawler or a barge, normally a, a larger slower boat that pushes through the water. So regardless of the vessel's weight, it will always displace of water equal to the weight of the vessel. A planing vessel is designed or shaped where as you put the power down, the boat will lift up out of the water and when it's on the plane, it no longer displaces its own weight in water. These are things like speed boats, jet skis, or planing vessels, something like a barge or a trawler or a sailing boat would be a, would be a displacement vessel. Now, just below, there's a whole heap of terms. You, you, you need to look at these terms. Later on when you do your assessment, these terms will pop up right through the exam. On the day, the instructor, on the day when you come in for assessment, the instructor might ask you a question. Um, point to this or point to that. So we need a really good understanding of all the terminology to be a, to be a good safe boaty. So take the time to have a look at all the information below. On the day when you come in for assessment, you will be assessed on your terminology. The instructor will ask you questions on what is the port, what is the starboard side, what is the bow, what is the stern. In your multiple choice exam, there'll be questions asking you similar things. So make sure you take the time to understand it before you move on to your next section.